Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. In this video, I will take you through step-by-step -step how to retouch a photo using the frequency separation method in Photoshop. First step is to remove the blemish from the skin. To do that, press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate the layer. I am going to rename the layer blemish. Select the Spot Healing Brush tool. Press Ctrl and plus key to zoom in. With the Spot Healing Brush tool, left click on the unwanted spot you want to remove. Next step is frequency separation and skin smoothing. Press Ctrl J twice to duplicate the layer. I am going to rename the first layer texture and the second layer color. Make the texture layer invisible. Make sure you are on the color layer. Go to filter at the menu bar, then select blur and click Gaussian blur. Set the blur radius to seven pixels. Make the texture layer visible back. Select the texture layer. Go to image at the menu bar, then click apply image. Select the color layer. Change the blending to subtract. Set the scale to 2% and offset 128%. Change the blending mood to linear light. Select the color layer. Select the mixer brush tool. Follow this same settings. Make sure it's on clean brush. Press Ctrl and plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Brush over the skin with the Mixer Brush tool to make it smooth. You can increase or decrease the brush size using the bracket key. Just follow the process and make sure you brush carefully. You can see the before and after. Select the texture layer. Hold Shift key to select the three layers. Press Ctrl G to group the layers. Let us hard highlight and shadow to the image. Open the group layers. Select the texture layer. Go to adjustment layer and click curve. Click and hold the line, then drag it up. Go to Adjustment Layer again and click Curve. This time drag the line down. Select the white space on the layer and press Ctrl-I to invert. Repeat the same process. I am going to rename the two layers Dodge and Burn. Click on the black space on the Dodge layer. Select the Brush tool. Set the opacity to 6%. Press Ctrl and plus key to zoom in. 
Brush the highlight part of the image with the brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is on 100% white. Then continue brushing. Don't forget we are only brushing the highlight part. Keep following the process. Select the burn layer. This time we are brushing the shadow part of the image. Let us increase the image brightness a little. Select the burn layer. Go to adjustment layer and click curve. Then drag the line up a little. You can see the before and after. Next is to color grade the image using Camera Raw Filter. To do that, select the first layer. Press Ctrl Shift, Alt and E key to merge all the layers. Right click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter at the menu bar and select Camera Raw Filter. Here you can see all the different settings. Just follow through the settings I am using, or you can set it to your own choice, any one you prefer. Set the exposure to minus 5. Contrast to 7. Increase the highlight to 14. Then decrease the shadow to minus 5. For the color set the temperature to minus 5, the tint to 6, and the vibrance to 27. Increase the skin texture. You can see the skin texture coming up. Increase the clarity to 12. Then for the color grading, take it to the yellow part and the highlight and the shadow also. Open the details and set the sharpening to 25. Noise reduction to 11. For the calibration, set the saturation to 15. You can see the changes on the image. Then click OK once you are satisfied. You can see the before and after. Let us whiten the eye and the teeth. To do that, make sure you are on the first layer. Then create a new layer on top.
Select the brush tool. Set the opacity to 100% and the flow to 100%. Open the foreground color and change the color to 100% white. Change the blending mood to color. Press Ctrl and plus key to zoom in. Then brush over the teeth and the white part of the eye with the brush tool. you can see the before and after. If you like this video, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification button for more tutorials like this.